So the anti-fraud network, I think, is an amazing and unique innovation where we are able to generate an Oracle network, partly based on our work on proof of reserves, that monitors various key aspects of risk. So if you look at any system out there in the traditional world that moves any kind of, you know, any kind of value or anything, they always have a risk management and a fraud management and an anti-fraud department and often a very complicated set of AI-driven systems. This is what the anti-fraud network does in a transparent, cryptographically truth-based, decentralized manner. It monitors all of the activity at all levels of the, um, the messaging system, the bridging system, and anything else that CCIP or chain link networks would be used for in regards to cross-chain communication, movements of tokens, or anything else. So the anti-fraud network is a separate parallel Oracle network sitting next to each cross-chain bridge that comes in the form of a Don. And it's at the most detailed level possible monitoring the activity on both chains, what's, you know, what's happening with the minting, burning, locking, unlocking, what's happening with messages, are they being delivered? What's happening with the aggregated signatures from the chain link networks? Are there any deviations? Do those bridges need to be slowed down or sped up? What are the risks with those bridges? They're, they're basically scanning for an endless collection of issues. Reorgs, not enough confirmations, any number of risks. And then what the anti-fraud network does, similarly to what risk management and anti-fraud systems do in the real world, is they mitigate risk. So they manage risk in order to make it so that the chain link messaging protocol um, you know, the chain link uh, programmable bridge, CCIP messages are all being accepted or not accepted according to the levels of risk that are deemed acceptable by users.